All right, let's go over the uh, one of the last options here on our uh, our fillet under fill options, but the overflow type. Um, this side is uh, from the uh, our textbook. Oh, what is it? Figure seven fifty five, seven fifty six. I just made a uh, circle extrusion on the outside because I think it makes it clear when you see on this side to understand what's going on here. So, uh, what does the overflow type do? Well, you have your uh, selection default, keep edge, and keep surface. Default, uh, well, the overflow type is when, let's say I select this as a circular fillet. Right now you get your circular fillet, it looks great, but let's say you wanted a larger fillet that would not fit on this surface, basically the overflow of the surface. So, let's do 20. So, with uh, the default, oddly enough, the default and the keep edge, um, default is supposedly is what SOLIDWORKS picks the best for you, and for the most part it always picks keep edge. Um, because what the keep edge does is uh, keeps whatever edge that this fillet, you're, you're doing a fillet technically between, let's say, a cylinder and this top surface, but the overflow, if I were to draw a, uh, you know, this, this fillet is circular, it'd come out, you know, circular it out. So each of these edges would be out farther. Uh, so what this does, it's, it's best to look at from, uh, you know, I'll just click on it, best to look at it from the edge. See how the, um, the fillet that is on the edge that we kept this edge, um, to keep the edge, basically all the edges, it shortens the fillet. And you can tell by looking up here, see how the, the curves are coming down. Uh, you look at it from the side, it's shorter, but then you look at it from the angle, see right here is actually the full fillet. See how much larger it is. Hence the line comes up farther. Now, let me edit this feature. That is the keep edge and the default. Now, if you say keep surface, what that's going to do, imagine... Um, you know, you want the fillet to be perfectly all the way around, similar to, you know, when it was uh, smaller than uh, getting to the edge, you have the perfect fillet all the way around. Well, if you wanted to keep the, uh, you know, when you say keep surface, it keeps that fillet the same all the way around. And think of it as, I think of it as a, uh, as the fillet comes out, you know, it extends out here. You're doing a, uh, if you did like a cross section, like if you took a knife, <laughs> You know, think of it this way, you take a knife and you slice up on these edges. It's kind of like a, this would be like a section view of the amount that overflows past it. And if I were to trace a circle, it's looking more like this. And that's the uh, the part of the uh, fillet. See how it's round up the upper edge? That's the part that um, would be cut off. And what does what happens when you say keep surface, it takes now, um, like it's, it's like taking a section right here takes that portion that would overflow and then now extends this surface up whereas uh, the keep uh, um, the keep edge actually keeps the edge straight keep surface will keep the curvature looking better but then it's going to extend this surface this surface all the surface around where there's an overflow it'll extend that up to pretty much fill in you know what I call like a, a section if you have the actual fillet coming all the way it makes sense when we click this Let's see how the um, the fillet is pretty much the same uh, curvature all the way around. It's just now the surfaces that are adjacent to the, uh, the fillet, now they're, they're not straight edge anymore. It actually changed those faces. So that's the difference.